welcome to the University of North Texas Health Science Center Library. Today I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to access books, ebooks, and journal articles through our library catalog. Over here from the university's main site, you can get to the library website, clicking on the three lines in the upper left and going down to quick links. It will open in a new window, which I suggest bookmarking so that you can easily get to the library web page when you need it. Our main page here gives you our search functions from the very top. There are five different tabs that you can click on for search and it does default to databases. We do have a large list of databases, many of which are searchable in the catalogs so that you don't need to go direct to the database. There will be some specific point of care to, um, and other specialty tools like Visual DX or up to date, um, Complete Anatomy, if you have to access any of those, they are pretty specific and we don't have them within the catalog itself. You can get to them from our A to Z list here. However, today I am searching for some specific books or some articles or books on a general topic. So I'm gonna start here at eBooks and Catalog. Down here, you have a drop down option on how to search. Our catalog search is very intuitive. So whether I'm searching within the keyword or one of these other um, sections, I will most likely get the results I'm looking for. I'm going to go ahead and keep it at keyword and start typing in the title of an ebook that I am looking for. And rather than type in the entire piece of title I'm looking for, it does remember my previous search for the same book. This is not the full title of the book, but as I said, the catalog is very intuitive, so you can pretty much enter a good portion of the title, click search, and you should be able to find what you're looking for if we hold that title in our library. So from the main screen, I can see that I got immediately to the book I'm looking for. If that's not the case, you'll see I have over 40,000 results. Over here on the side, it does default to UNT HSC Library, so I know I'm only going to be looking at items that we have at our library, whether it's electronic or print. Down here, I can further limit it to the exact type of item I need, and I do need a book. I can also continue limiting it to what type of book. I can limit it to the publication. If I knew the book I needed was published in 2020, I can limit it to the last five years or date range. But as I mentioned, this is the book I'm looking for. It is the 2020 edition, the fifth edition. I can see down here that we have other editions at the UNTH HSC library, which includes the print version of the same edition. It shows that we have three. So if I open that up, I'll see the ebook for 2020, the print book for 2020, as well as the print book for 2016. If I happen to need the 2016, I can just click on that record and it will take me there so I can figure out what the call number is to get the book at the library. Here you can see the call number for the 2020 edition as well as the checkout period. And here is the link where we can click to view the ebook. If it exist in more than one database, we will see a list of databases to choose from. If it only exists in one database, it will open directly to that database, which is what this one has done. We only have this book within the EBSCO database and I can access it here. If you have a book that might exist in more than one database, um, it really, it's okay to pick either one. And sometimes it is handy to have them in more than one database. Looking for another textbook, I've entered part of the title and it has kept with UNT HSC libraries. I don't need to limit it further because I do see the book I need right here, as well as other information about the book. If I click view ebook, I'll see that I actually have two choices as to where I can look at it. I have a ProQuest database as well as an EBSCO database. If a link to one of the databases does not work, that will give you the option of a to try the other database link to open it up there. If you do click on a link that does not work or doesn't lead you to the actual item, please report the broken link so that we can work on fixing that. Once you are in the database that you need, you can download the chapters you might need. The subsections are available as well. You could also just read the book online um, right where you're at. Going back here, 
if I'm looking for a specific book, but I'm not sure if the library has it, but I do want to see if we have it, I can start typing in the title of the book, knowing the specific book title. And once again, you don't need to type in the entire uh, title. I am spelling as I talk. You just want to make sure you type in enough of the words so that you can have decent search results. So since I am working within the UNT HSC libraries, and every time you do a new search, it always defaults back to this. Even if I do switch it to libraries worldwide, as soon as I search a new topic or a new title, it's going to always default back to searching our catalog. So I know I'm looking for a book. I want to go down here and limit it down to book, which there are only two options. Since I did not put quotations around the book title, I am doing a keyword search. And that's why the book titles I have here are not the book I'm looking for, but keywords that might be included. So I'm going to actually go now and go to libraries worldwide to see if maybe I can get this book from another library because we do interlibrary loan here. So if we don't have the book, if it's a print book, we can get you the book in print. If it is an ebook, we cannot request the entire ebook. But we can request specific, a specific chapter from the ebook if you really only need to look at one or two chapters, depending on the size of the book. All right, so the first two um, records I see are still going to be the records that we have here because our results are always going to show you what we have first. If I keep going, though, I will see what the other libraries have, and I can see that I have a second edition print book here. And I can look at all worldwide editions and formats. There are only 12, so that's not that many records to look through. And I'll see that we have some ebooks printed in 2014. Now, if I want to request this for ILL, I don't want to look at those records, but I can look at the print book records. I have a few options for the 2014. And 2013 is going to be an ebook, probably the same edition as the 2014 book. And then I do have, it looks like probably the first edition printed as well. So I'm going to go back up and I know that I'm looking for the print book. So I'm going to click this record right here is print 2013 second edition. And over here, since we don't actually have this at our library, I'm not going to see a call number as to where I can find it. I'm also not going to see um, an access button for an ebook since this is not an ebook it is a print book but I can click here to get it and fill out the ILL I'll have to sign into my account fill out the ILL form and um, submit it to get the book through interlibrary loan Another way to search is through keyword searches that have to do with whether you are looking for a book or an article. If I go over here, I am going to just populate it with keywords that I am looking at. So adolescent, health, skateboard, and I'm using Boolean search terms to help me to have a little bit more results than what I might get otherwise, because this is a very narrow topic. If you look over here, you'll see that it did default back to UNT Health Science Center Libraries. I have 60 results. I can narrow down further if I only want to look at a book. If I want to look at articles, I can narrow it down to, okay, I just want articles. I want to make sure they are full text, so I'm not just getting an abstract. I want to make sure that they are peer-reviewed because it's required for my research. And if I have a specific time frame I need to look at, I can narrow it down to that as well. That takes my results down to 19 results, which is not a lot. So the, keep in mind, these are only the results we have here at our library. So these would be the articles that you have at your disposal now. You can click View PDF, and this will take you directly to the PDF, which opens through LibKey. And once again, if you find that the link doesn't work, you can report a broken link. And then I have my PDF open right here. The other links will take you, if that didn't work, or if you don't have the option of a PDF, you can click any of these links to take you to the database where that journal is held. Once I go through my results, and like I said, 19 is not a lot, I can go ahead and take the limiter to libraries worldwide. It will keep all my other limiters. I still have everything else chosen, and that takes me to 20 results. So it did not take me to that many more results, but I did have a very narrow topic. 
So that is the gist of how you search our catalog. If you have any questions um, as you search the catalog or if something's not working for you, please contact us. You can go ahead and if we are online for chat, you can get online with a librarian to chat. If we are not, you can go ahead and email us. If you would prefer to call during our hours, you can call us. Um, if it's after hours or on the weekend, though, you can go ahead, just go ahead and email Ask a Librarian at unthsc.edu and we will help you. Thank you. <laughs>